this out. This grade 11 applied math class is trying to solve a problem. In the last five years, there have been over 100 collisions involving pedestrians at two crosswalks near their school. Tyler McDonald says he's seen many close calls. Um, they just like hit the button and they just go like they're just off to the races like they're just like okay hit the button go if anything happens to me it's the driver's fault. Math teacher Laurel Sherbo says the topic was chosen in order to enter Samsung's Solve for Tomorrow contest. It encourages students to apply science, technology, engineering and math to the real world. This is our attempt at solving a problem. We want to have fewer incidents and uh, that's and, and we and we're going to use our math skills in order to get the message out. Sherbo's class used a quadratic equation to figure out the distance it takes a car to stop depending on its speed. The class then marked out the distances and took photos to document their findings and to educate other students. We're trying to make sure that pedestrians know that cars need a certain amount of space to stop and if they don't have that certain amount of space it's very likely that they could get hit by a car. Sherbo says the project has helped get students interested in math problems. Sometimes students are taught math concepts, um, you know, from a textbook where the, where the, where the material doesn't seem relevant to them. Um, this is just a small example of trying to make math relevant to their world. It's very fun. You get to step out of class for a bit and enjoy the sun. And uh, we actually get to use this in real life other than our books. Sherbo's class is one of 15 in the province chosen for the regional finals. The students could win $20,000 worth of technology for their classroom. But even if they don't win, they hope it all adds up to safer streets. Holly Carrick, CBC News, Winnipeg.